All right, hey there, Prox News. This is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Sun Let's Play. And in the previous episode, guys, we went and basically taking care of the Ultra Recon Squad, and also battled out how again uh, for the second time. And now, guys, we're gonna be heading on over to the Kahuna battle, which we're gonna be battling out Hala hopefully in this episode for today, and also get ourselves the uh, ourselves the uh, fight, the, the the fighting ZM or, or the or the fighting Z Crystal, I should say, uh, which that should actually be uh, really uh, really cool to actually test out because. Uh, um, hopefully, uh, one of our well, I, I would actually like to give that fighting uh, Z crystal to I believe to our rock ref once we actually do pick that up uh, for our Tauros because that is also going to be a thing that we are going to be getting as well. Uh, and that's going to be our very first Pokey Ride Pokemon that's going to be really exciting to uh, have there, too. Now, also, uh, uh, um, uh, in the last episode, I totally forgot uh, to put on Brion's evolution on the layout, uh, but now it should be there now. Uh, I just totally forgot about it uh, because that was like, I think it was like only maybe like five minutes just before the video was always about to end. And uh, I totally forgot about uh, putting that on there because I just totally blanked out about that, uh, about that evolution at the very end of the video. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're just going to do a little bit of a quick team recap. So if you guys did miss out on the last episode, I recommend you guys going and checking that out before watching this one, uh, before we actually go and taking care of the Kahuna battle. Now, first of all, we have here is Kyla, our Noibat that is at level 14. Uh, we haven't really made it up to level uh, uh, 16 yet. Um, but hopefully, uh, when we actually go and take care of our first Pokemon that 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 uh, Hollow is going to have, I believe he's going to have the Corbala first, or some other Pokemon that's going to happen, and uh, we should at least be able to hit up to level 16, and we should be able to use uh, Kyla and use some Wing Attack, which that should be really good. Uh, well, Kyla actually has Gust, Supersonic Bite, and Absorb right now. We also have Vexen, of course, at level 18 with Echo Voice, Aqua Jet, Baby Doll Eyes, and Icy Wind. And we also have Sparky at level 16 with Spark, Bug Bite, Ice, uh, Mud Slap, and Bite, which that is not bad either. Now, uh, I'm actually going to switch on out and probably put Vexen out on in front first, just so that, uh, just so that, that um, we can at least see what type of damage that uh, Hull is going to be using with his Pokemon. And that should be awesome, uh, just to see what's going to happen there. Now, also as well too, uh, I am just starting to uh, make my very first intro on my Adobe Effects 2018, which that is actually really cool. Uh, that I'm going to be uh, making some intros uh, now, hopefully for, for my uh, Pokemon, uh, for my Pokemon Nuzlocke's and also my Pokemon series that, that are also going to be uh, coming through here uh, throughout my uh, throughout my different videos on my channel. And um, hopefully, you guys enjoy it because this is going to be the the very first time that I'm actually going to be doing uh, an actual intro uh, throughout my series. Uh, I think I did originally a long, long, long time ago, like back in 2017, I think, um, when I made my very first intro uh, for the Need for Speed Carbon uh, series, and I kind of stopped doing that because, like, I just didn't really kind of like the intro about what I was doing, and I wanted to find a much better and suitable software uh, for me to make my intros, and now I actually do, and that's really cool, and uh, hopefully you guys uh, uh, are going to enjoy that uh, when the Crown Tundra DLC actually does drop, because that's going to be the next uh, Let's Play that is going to be happening on my channel, of course, just like what I did with uh, Isle of Armor. And, yeah, so we actually have Vexen up in front, so let's go and talk to Hala and let's see what he has to say. So, congratulations on cleaning your trial in the Verdant Cavern. So, good work. I suppose that they are here to battle the Kahuna. So, you think that you and Brion are ready for me, Prox? Definitely. Let's do this, man. Taking care of our first Kahuna battle. I know that we did this before back in our Pokemon Moon, and he was actually a little bit challenging, I have to say. So, if you guys haven't checked out the Pokemon Moon randomizer uh, when I actually... Uh, Played the original Sun and Moon. Uh, make sure to go and check that out because this battle was actually a little bit intense, and uh, we did lose a few Pokemon uh, during Hollow's uh, fight here, which that kind of sucked. But this time it shouldn't be all that too bad because he's got to have the vanilla Pokemon on his team. So I do have Echo Voice and I do have Icy Wind, and I don't know if Icy Wind is also going to be super effective on Fighting types, but we'll see what happens out here first. Now I did make sure to go and buy out some Super Potions, so I am basically much set here. I also do have some revive still. So I'm going to see if uh, Icy Wind is super effective. And we're going to see if that works. It does neutral damage, but it does lower your speed though. So that is pretty nice. Ouch, but that revenge does a lot, a lot of damage. Uh, so let's set up an Echo Voice. Alright, now it's going to be setting up for focus energy, but I'm going to make sure to, uh, 
actually heal up here. But I think even though, uh, since we do have Echo Voice, it's actually going to be uh, helping us out a lot as well too, because every time that we use Echo Voice, it's just going to keep on going up a lot, a lot more with the attack, so... Uh, let's do Echo Voice one more time, and that should actually probably knock out the Machop, shall we? No, it's not. And I think we're going to probably die here. Uh, yeah, and that was a critical revenge too as well. Man, that was not fun. Okay, I should probably set up a revive maybe. But let me see. Um... He's gonna probably heal up, aren't you? Yes, he is. I figured that. So yeah, Bite's not gonna really touch it at all. I could probably set up a Bug Bite, but that may probably not do anything either. Oh, it does some sort of damage, but not... Okay, I can see that this is gonna become a very big issue. So some revives here, let's do it. Nice. Okay, Sparky's gonna go down, unfortunately. Well, we do have Gust, but I don't know if Gust is gonna be doing that much damage to one of my chop. Here we go, why not we just have a Gust? That does a lot of damage. And holy... Okay. Uh... Let's potion. There we go. Heal effects in and then we'll just... Get Kyla knocked out here, unfortunately. Man, I can't believe this Machop is actually... Come on. Let's just go right into Vex in here. I don't know what would be better. Uh, probably just setting up an Echo Voicer, maybe. There we go. No, no! Oh, what the heck, man? Screw off! There we go. Metrop is down. And then yeah, out comes here uh, with Makuhita. So this is going to get a little bit tricky out here as well, too. We only have one Pokemon left. Come on, man. Well, it's a good thing that we have this Echo Voice that's doing a lot of damage. Because we can make this thing go up a lot quicker. Oh. Here, how about you have a, a Aqua Jet here then, dude? Okay, that does some damage. Ugh, but the sand attack, man. That's gonna be really annoying. I may probably have to revive out another Pokemon and get the sand attack out of here. So I'm gonna Echo Jet once more and hopefully we can... God, man. These guys are just absolutely just crazy. Like, I'm never gonna be able to knock these guys out. Come on. Um, how about another Echo Jet? There we go. Nice, okay, so Makuhita's down. And then his major Pokemon out here is going to be Crabrawler. Uh, I'm going to probably set up a revive. Just so that I can heal up Sparky. Oh no. No, this may probably be the time where we may probably die. Uh oh, pumbling. Uh oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're dead. Yeah, we are so dead. Oh my god, dude. Uh, okay. Hopefully Pursuit doesn't do that much. Okay, doesn't do that much, so I'll just heal up on both of these guys. Yeah, I knew that this was going to be a little bit of a trickier battle out here. So Pursuit's not going to do that much, but I'm going to make sure to hit up a Super Potion on Vexen as well, too. Oh, it's so good that we're not doing a Nuzlocke, because that would have been very challenging if we uh, had to go through this. Oh, uh, I'm going to make sure to set up a Spark, maybe. Alright, now it's just setting up Leers. Let's see how much it's going to do. Not bad damage. But I should probably get healed up now, because I know that you're going to probably start doing some more annoying stuff. So, at least, um, Hala only went out for a, uh, for his own super potion, so I think that was his only super potion that he has. Okay, so this man set up more Leers, like he's never done before. I'm gonna make sure to paralyze you though. Nice. Okay, so he's paralyzed, so that's good. Now we can just start keep on doing our sparking out of here. Oh man, come on. So one more other spark. Alright, now Pursuit's gonna probably do quite a bit more damage now. But we should still be alright. Nice. Okay, I'm just gonna play it safe now. Super Potion up on Sparky. Man, I thought I was going to just get another game over, man. Okay. So he's still paralyzed. He used up his last of his full heals. Set up our pursuit. We may probably die. Uh, yeah. But at least he's paralyzed, so at least we can go out for our first move. I think I may just want to probably just go out for our Aqua Jet and see what I can do. Oh, alright. Well, now this Scribbler is just setting up more Leers now. Which doesn't really matter, because he doesn't have another Super Potion on him. Oh, oh my god. And we finally did it, guys. Holy... Man. <laughs> well, uh, uh, no, we're not gonna use Anka. We're actually gonna. Not gonna learn that right now. But yes, we have defeated Kuhuna Hala. We can finally get ourselves that Fighting Z Crystal, which I can put onto a Rock Ruff now. But first of all, we can't even do that yet until we actually get our first Poke Ride Pokemon. And uh, while off recording, I actually did figure out that there's some other uh, secretive areas that we can actually go and use Tauros for around in Mele Mele. And uh, there's actually one area in particular which I don't think I ever went to, and uh, we should probably explore out uh, that section. But here we go, guys, our second Z Crystal. Man, I thought we weren't ever going to be able to get that one because uh, if I didn't have Revised, man, I could have probably been really screwed right there. But there we go, Grand Trial has been completed and we can now finally enter our way into Akala Island. Which I have to say, for me personally, uh, Akala Island has to be like one of my favorite areas. Same with um, Ula Ula as well. Because I really like, um, I think, what was it, Ula Ula that actually had um, that, that, ghost, uh, that ghost girl in it. Where you're able to like uh, use your uh, 3DS to like move around and like take pictures and stuff. But, like I really love that one. And uh, I guess while we're talking about different islands, uh, I guess the comment question of the day would have to probably have to be is, what is your favorite uh, island uh, in Pokemon Sun and Moon? Do you guys like Akala? Do you guys like Pony? Uh, do you guys like Ula Ula or Mele Mele? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. 
but here it is. Here's Tauros. After all this time, we are finally now going to be able to use him as a Pokeride Pokemon. So I'll take all the little things that you need in order to ride a Pokemon Prox. Uh, it's just so nice here in this game that we don't have to worry about HM moves or anything like that. Because, because like, it's, it's taken Nintendo at least seven generations to finally not use an HM move anymore. <laughs> Which I have to say, like, like, don't get me wrong, like, HM moves are, like, are, are pretty nice because, like, it's actually something cool to, like, put on your Pokemon and actually use them a little bit more, uh, throughout the overworld. And also, too, I think, uh, most of the HM moves are actually, uh, pretty, pretty much decent moves, like, out in competitive as well, too. Like, Surf, for example, is, like, a really good HM move and same with Water- well, not really Waterfall, but Surf is actually the, the much better one and same with Fly, too. So even though that all the HM moves are like gone, at least uh, at least we could finally uh, like uh, have an extra move to actually uh, use around uh, while we're battling. And we also got false swipes. I believe is that the move that also increases up in damage as well too, or is that or is that a different move? That's Fury Cutter. But, uh, you know that the Lima mentioned that he totally had the right idea and you should go to the Alola Photo Club and take a special photo to remember clearing your first grand trial. Hmm, I don't think I've ever done that before. So I sure I hope so, but first, uh, come on Tutu, uh, don't go too easy on me now. Uh, so now it's house turn to actually go and bow out, uh, his grandpa, I believe? So uh, you're all getting uh, strong already, yeah? So I can't wait to see how much more that you'll grow. So all right, time to get the boat ready. Lily, uh, can you help me clean it? And Cosmo wants to help out there too. Okay, so we are finished now, finally with Kahuna Hala. Uh, I believe now, if I actually head on to my X button, or is it my Y button? Yeah, okay, it's my Y button. So we can actually go and switch out right into Tauros. And before I go and end off this episode, I think we still have a little bit more time, and I would actually like to head on over to Ten Carat Hill and pick up our next Pokemon, because I think that would be really cool to uh, get another extra Pokemon on our team and uh, have Rock Rough finally. But we could also uh, explore out this new section, though, since we do have Tauros now. We could actually go and explore this place. But I think there's actually a TM in here, I, I think so. So let's just go explore around here. Maybe there's going to be an item. Yeah, there's an item right up there, and I think I kind of missed it. So we need to hop on down from this way. If I could jump. There we go. Pick up this item here. Got ourselves a nugget. Nice. Help us out with some extra cash, because I am kind of running low a little bit from since of me buying out some super potions. And I don't think there's any uh, TMs. I thought there was a TM up there, but I guess not. So uh, let's just use Tauros and we'll make our way to 10 Carat Hill, which I believe is just right down this way. Go and grab ourselves the Rock Rough. Oh, no. Ooh, okay. I thought I was going to get run on into by a Pokemon. Alright, so welcome to 10 Carat Hill. Well, actually, the uh, entrance way of 10 Carat Hill. We're not actually in it just yet. The place where you were able to find the Krosma here at the, in the post game. And there is a Rog and Rolla, which I'm not going to be using that on my team, even though that a Gigalus would be pretty cool, but I'm going to be using a Rock Ruff instead. So let's go and hop on into this entrance way here. Come on. There you go. Ah, we're gonna get bombarded by another Pokemon. Oh, it's a Zubat. That would have been cool. Because I, uh, I do have a, so uh, a Suze Bell that I got off recording from uh, one of the people around Route 3 here. So that should have been interesting to use, but we already have a, a Flying type Pokemon. Ugh, oh, still having to 
break through all these annoying boulders. Now, I'm pretty sure I think, like, once you actually break these boulders, I think they just actually, uh, stay. Or, uh, stay like this. Because I don't think they regenerate or something. Just gonna head up here. Alright, so welcome to 10 Carat Hill, the, uh, the actual, uh, meadows part of it. And this is where we can actually go and rock items as well, too. Wow, finding a hard stone? Not bad. I could give that to, uh, Rock Rough. And also finding another nugget, too. Another, uh, another good 5,000, uh, Poke Dollars. I believe that's how much they are. Alright, come on, Rock Rough. This should be an actual common Pokemon here. No, or Machop. So yeah, just like uh, from doing that Kahuna battle, uh, you can actually find Machops here if you want to. But I'm on the hunt for Rock Ruffs. Come on. Give me a Rock Ruff. Hey, there it is. Alright. Well, hopefully this Rock Ruff is not going to be too annoying. Because I just want to just go out and just capture you right on the spot. We do have a netball, so maybe this netball could work. Come on. Let's get on our first try. One. Oh. It may work. And it does. Nice. Right on the first try. Now, I believe this is where we can actually get EXP also from catching our... Yeah. Which I think that's really neat. I, I really like how you can actually get EXP just from, like, catching out Pokemon too. So there we go, we got Rock Ruff, another new member on the team. Okay, so what am I going to be naming you? Because I have no idea. Um... Well, oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to have caps. There you go. Well, the only one thing that I can only uh, think of is uh, I'll just name you. I think this is how you spell it. Because since you do have that that rocky part in it, we're just going to name you Balboa. Balboa the Rock Rough. Okay, awesome. So guys, now I'm going to end off this episode here for today. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this episode. Uh, I know that this episode was just basically just only me just doing the Kahuna battle, but basically in the next episode, we should be doing a little bit more stuff. Uh, we should be able to be heading on over to Akala, uh, heading to a brand new island, which we should be uh, introducing to uh, some other new uh, trial captains as well uh, while we're uh, heading on into Akala. So that should be uh, pretty interesting to see. And also too, guys, don't forget about uh, the comment question of the day, which that is going to be is what is your favorite um oh right yeah uh i think i already said it but then it just like went went over my head and i totally forgot what the comment question of the day was but um uh anyways uh so don't forget to comment like also subscribe to the show if you're new i'll see you guys in the next one and peace